And more recently, uh, attention has shifted to India, uh, the next probably big opportunity. Uh, it's surprising how little trade Australia has with India. Two-way trade is only $15 billion. It is a tiny amount. I think the recent visit um, by um, Prime Minister Modi to the G20 in Brisbane was important. Uh, the visit by Prime Minister Tony Abbott, the first visit by a foreign leader after Prime Minister Modi was elected, um, has really raised the profile of Australia in India. But I think there's a really a huge amount of work to be done. Um, I was struck um, by the enormous confidence Indian business people, politicians, both federal and state, have in Prime Minister Modi. There is a huge expectation uh, that he will lead India to a, a period of high growth and uh, growing sophistication. Again, for Western Australia, uh, we can't be much to India, but we can be significant in a couple of areas. And uh, that will be, I think, the future sale of liquefied natural gas to India in significant volumes. I've got to say, I find India a little bit contradictory. Uh, I was continually told our gas is too expensive and we don't really need it. Uh, and then in the next conversation, I'll be told that there's four receival terminals under construction and 20,000 20, kilometres of gas pipeline being built. So I figure at some stage India's going to be buying gas. Um, but look, that's a relationship to be worked on, and I think it's got huge promise uh, for us.